Yo, what is up, guys? So in the last video, we played some solo standard games. We're at seven out of ten. We played two games. We won both of them. Right now, we haven't lost a single solo standard match. I don't think out of these placement games. So if we win the next one, we'll go ten for ten, and maybe we'll get grand champ right away. We'll see. So we'll get a rank in this episode. We'll play two games. Hopefully, we win both of them again. Let's get into it. Let's see how it goes. All right. So for the first game of the video, we got ourselves Dapper on our team this time, and we have Chief against Dirty Dan, Stacy Sauce, which is a guy who DC'd in our first episode of Soul Standard. And I'm not sure how to pronounce the last dude, but yeah, we have Dapper. So this could be really good. This game has a lot of potential. We can actually get some passing plays going, and I have faith. Decent amount of faith that we can actually take this this W. You never know though. The other team could definitely pop off. A very good start. I read his touch. He was in an awkward situation. He was only going to be able to go to the right side from where he was coming from. Yeah. I switched to my bed in the last game. I power went out. Yeah, I figured. No big deal, man. We ended up winning anyway. Like I said, that shit happens. There's no point in getting upset about it. Like, I could have very easily, like... Well, a lot of people would probably get tilted in that situation or be annoyed by it, but I thought it was better to just... Let's move on, you know. Focus on the game. There's still a chance you can win it. Not over yet. Yeah, we ended up winning 2v3. But yeah, very good start so far. Two goals already. It's only been 40 seconds. Hopefully we can get Dap again next game. See what I can do with this. Pass of the dapper. Ooh, I was trying to read his touch. Nice, really good play from us. Yeah, the matchmaking here wasn't too great. But the thing is, it goes based off MMR, and I don't really even have a rank, so I understand why the game put us together. It was probably just confused. But dapper should really, if it, was, if it were to be even, dapper should really be another team, because dapper's technically still a pro. Technically, I mean, he's not on a pro team, but he's good enough to be a pro still. So like, if it were to be fair, he'd be on the other team. But like I said, the game has no idea about that. I waited too long for my teammates to challenge on the wall. Because it was a lot easier for him to challenge it than for me. But if that ball gets by him, it's pretty much a goal. Because it's so close to my goal when he's challenging. I'm just going to wait here. He's going to have a touch probably off the wall. I'll challenge now. Better over one again. Ah, oh, not the best bounce for us. We're just wave dashing everywhere. I got this mid boost quick. Dapper should have this pretty easily. He's a lot of time to work with. Left side maybe. Or just absolutely slap it. I'll wait for his touch here. He's gonna have one as well. Get it over him. He's gonna back off now. He's gonna have a touch on the wall for sure. There's no point in me wasting time, wasting the positioning of my teammates by challenging that, because they'd have to wait for me to go up the wall and just get beat. So there's no point of that. Not the best touch from them. And I got a bump on him, which kind of helps us. They did double commit on that, so I gotta wait and be a little bit patient here. Fastest left. Dapper's gonna probably. Oh, never mind. I thought he was gonna go for it again. But that works. Good play. He could have definitely like opted for the hit off the backboard and then followed it, but maybe he didn't have the boost for it. That's what I'm thinking. And there we go. That should be the first game. Seems like one of them left, which means they forfeited. So yeah, let's get into the next one. I think it might show us our rank now. I'm not 100% sure. I think we're 9 out of 10. Which I don't remember if that shows us our rank after this game. Yeah, it does. So we're champion three division four now. So we win one more, and we're probably gonna get grand champ, I think. So let's play the last game of the video. Hopefully we can win it, and hopefully we can get grand champ. Let's go. All right, guys. So I've been queuing for about 40 minutes now on just e servers. I decided to tick every single server off, and hopefully that'll make us find a match because we haven't been able to find anything pretty much. So yeah, let's hope for the best. All right, guys. So after another 40 minutes of queuing, we finally found a game on European servers. We have Liam and Payne against. Ale, Danny Boy, and Him Kuhn. I think that's how you say it. But yeah. That queue is probably the most painful I've ever been in. 
But to be fair, there's only like 800 players in the, the playlist right now. So the game mode appears to be kind of dying. I don't think many people would mind if they removed it, to be honest. I feel like it's not played nearly as much as it should be. Um, yeah, I don't think Sonics would remove it anyway for a while. It's just been part of the game for so long. I'd like to see them make like a 4v4, 4v4 ranked mode. I think that'd be really cool in place of uh, where Soul Standard is right now because I feel like there's just not so much you could do with Soul Standard anymore. Like many people don't want to play it just because of the lack of trust. I don't know. There's just, I feel like there's a bigger player base that'd want to play like 4v4 than uh, Solo Standard and ranked. I think there's actually like a big potential for 4v4 to become a thing in the future. Like I played a little bit with other pros in like casual in fours and it's actually pretty fun. Really enjoyed it. I was trying to just tap that down because he was gonna have the save regardless, so it's worth trying to get a touch around him. Should be fine. Should have stayed in front of this ball. It's pretty easy 50 to win. Let's see if we can stay under this. Oh, I would have had to flip off the ball. Would have been super nice. My first touch here. Nice. Can't really follow this yet, so I'll wait. That was a good touch. I'll just back off now. I baited at the flick. That's all I needed to do. And I missed that boost, so my goal now is just to go for the 50. If you miss a boost on a play like that, definitely just make it priority the ball. Even if you won't get the touch that you originally intended, you can still you know, be somewhat useful in the play. Ooh, I tried to just snipe the top corner because I was scared that that guy was going to get in my way, but ended up missing because of it. I just realized that guy was like night shot spam. Maybe for missing that. Oh my. You use toxic out here, I guess. I'm just waiting. Do I control this ball? Yeah, that's about all I could do there. It's probably the best play to make. Let's see if I can grab this boost. I'll just challenge next. It's fine. Let's force out the flick again. Played up high. See what he does with it. Actually, not bad that he made that touch. Kind of helped him delay time a bit. Ooh, it was actually nice. I thought I would have had it for a second. Really close. Trying to just challenge him in the air. That's all I need to do there. Delay some time for my team. Play it off to the side. All set myself again. Hit it off the wall for a teammate. Should be high. Might be okay for a little bit. Another kill on one. It wasn't the best shot from him. That was the dude that was that shot before too. Oh, he's trying to kill me. There we go. Took it slow there. Might even be a goal out of it. We didn't panic or anything. Stayed in front of the ball. Kept it really difficult for him to get anything out of that. Took a really good 50. And well followed up from Liam there. The shot. Bang that home. Yo, much love. Imkun, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I still love it, I appreciate you. That's probably really making that dude angry. <laughs> that this guy is saying nice stuff like that. Let's play around him. It's close. I try to control this ball. It's fine. 50 works well there. Liam should have this pretty easily. Oh, I couldn't play it over him, unfortunately. That's fine. He's gonna turn on the wall. Shouldn't really go anywhere. Try to just beat him to this, I guess. Best play to make. Good try. I'm dead, though. Should be okay for now. Just play it up high to the side. Gonna be coming in, though. I'll back off. Yeah, we just gotta play solid at this point. Have a two goal lead. Oof, I didn't even realize that guy was underneath. Holy shit. 
I was looking at the other dude the whole time, and then I realized the guy was just like sitting there. Good turn from him now. Give him a heart from uh, kind words from before. I appreciate that. That was a good turn from him. Oh my, what the hell? <laughs> Jesus Christ. He used. Toxic, I guess. First off, that's a terrible thing to, to say. Holy fuck. But not even that. I'm from Canada. I'm not even from America where all that shit's going down right now. But regardless, even if I was from America, that's pretty uncalled for. And that's... I don't even know what to say about that. That's something that we definitely need less of um, in the online gaming community. But... What are you gonna do, man? I've played games like CSGO and CS, that shit's a lot worse. And I rarely get shit like that nowadays, especially because I'm a pro now. People kind of have more respect for me, I guess, so they, they don't want to actually talk. But I guess some people in Europe kind of, I don't know, they have like a vendetta. I don't even know if that's the right word against like NA people. Not everything has to be a competition, not everything has to be a war. That's the way I see it, but some people are just naturally toxic and negative. It's alright. He'll get his attention in this video, but it's not going to be very good attention. And from now on, anyone who sees his name, you're going to, you know, correlate his name with what he just said right there. So, if that's the impression you want to leave in the world, that's the mark you want to leave in the world, being negative like that, then go for it, I guess. Good luck finding a team. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm not going to be toxic. I'm not going to fight toxicity with negativity. That's not the best way. I think the best way to deal with that is just completely ignore it. You guys saw what he said. You know, it's going to make him look bad at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, for everyone else in the, lo in the lobby that we just played right now, I appreciate you guys. You guys are super nice. Uh, being very respectful and kind. I appreciate that. But as for, I'm not even going to say the name. I'm not even going to give his name attention. But as for this man right here, you know, you kind of just dug yourself a hole in terms of trying to find yourself a team or having people respect you in the future but definitely watch watch what you say online because it can't hurt people it doesn't bother me but i'm just saying in general watch what you say online just for all you guys don't be toxic if you're upset about losing don't be toxic for absolutely no reason just you know try to spread love try to spread positivity it's the best way to go about your life there's no reason to bring more hate and negativity into this world than there already is right so Anyway, thank you to everyone in that lobby, like I said. That was being kind and respectful. I appreciate y'all. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We did not rank up. We stuck at, I think it was uh, Champ 3, Division 4, so we're one division off of Grand Champ. Let me know if you guys would like to see me play more Soul Standard just so I can reach Grand Champ. It's completely up to you guys. I have no problem doing that. But yeah. Uh, kind of got me down a little bit seeing, seeing messages like that, but it's alright. You know, we have to deal with that kind of stuff. It didn't get me down in the sense that it bothered me. It just hurt me that people are like that. Like, I haven't seen that kind of thing in Rocket League in so long. And it's probably because I'm a pro that I don't see that stuff anymore, like I was saying. But, like, to see that now, it's like, damn. Some people, like, I, I probably only see, like, such a small percentage of the toxicity that goes around in, in Rocket League. Just mainly because I'm a pro, I probably miss a lot of that toxicity. Because people don't want to say shit like that around me. Um, that guy clearly doesn't give a fuck, but yeah. <laughs> um it, it just needs to stop you know like the internet it, it, it can become a very very toxic place but there's also people on here that are amazing i met some of the kindest people some of the most generous people on here when i'm streaming uh the amount of people that come into my stream they say kind things and they ask me questions and are super kind to me i barely ever have somebody come in and say something rude and i have so many people who constantly give subs to each other um you know they constantly like donate to me they say nice things to me they're super positive super encouraging they, they motivate me to be better right because they're, they're such good people but there's there's that one percent of people that they'll be negative and they'll be dicks and they'll they'll stick out they'll stick in your head for some reason i don't know why it's crazy how that works but yeah let's try to let's try to make make a change i know the majority of the people who watch me are very kind people um but yeah just try to spread more love guys we don't, we don't need to see that shit. there's already enough bullshit going on in the world um, 
I don't even know why someone would say something like that. It's just really messed up, but whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. You guys are amazing. Have yourself a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you all in the next one. I love you. Peace.